good evening. Welcome back to the channel. Tonight I'm with uh, Martijn, as you can see here in the background. There's also two other people and I hope I can show you why the winter is awesome for astrophotography. So let's go. Well, the camera is running now and I'm shooting reason number one why we love astrophotography in winter. And it's the Milky Way. So Milky Way season, in my opinion, is never over. There's always Milky Way to shoot. Obviously not the Milky Way core, but at the moment I'm shooting the Cygnus region of the Milky Way. It's a beautiful region uh, with uh, the, the constellation of Cygnus, obviously, uh, right in the middle. Uh, of attention and uh, why we love it is because there are so many beautiful red H alpha emission nebulae in there. Uh, for example, the most, uh, yeah, uh, everybody knows the North America nebula, very bright, but also the Seder region, the butterfly nebula is in there. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful region to shoot, not exclusively to an astro modified camera, but also with a stock camera. It's, it comes up pretty well, especially if you're shooting in a uh, dark area. We are shooting over the North Sea into the West right now here in the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, Milky Way shows itself self really, really well. So, awesome start of the night. Rising behind me, you can see reason number two. It's in no particular order, but it's a big reason why I love winter astrophotography. We can see Orion rising. It's my definitely my favorite constellation in the night sky. Extremely recognizable, beautiful stars. Excellent nebula, H alpha nebula, like the Barnard's Loop, but also the Orion nebula, which is an, uh, partly an emission nebula, so you can shoot it beautifully also with uh, stock cameras very recognizable our shape in the winter night sky so i think i remember cornet once saying if i see orion it feels like christmas well well put i think <laughs> It's a bit early in the season for reason number three, which is the winter circle. The winter circle is an asterism of very, very recognizable bright stars in the sky. Uh, Orion is also part of it. Sirius is part of it, the brightest star uh, which we can see right here. And there's a faint part of the Milky Way also running through that asterism of stars. However, those stars themselves, those very recognizable bright stars are the star of the winter circle and uh, I'm really looking forward to shooting the winter circle. I think it's a very underrated part in astrophotography also. So um, yeah, but right now I'm going to check how my tracker is doing on the Cygnus part of the Milky Way. <laughs> Sickness has now come uh, pretty close to the horizon line. I'm running my third stack of the evening and I think I like this position most. It would fit my intended composition best, I think. Uh, settings wise, I'm collecting about 20 minutes of data, uh, one minute exposure time, f2.8, ISO 1000. Uh, at tw 20 millimeters, did I say that? I'm not sure, but <laughs> then my histogram looks pretty good. In the meantime, it has also become pretty cold. Uh, that's one of the disadvantages of winter time, of course. It can get pretty cold, so clothing is important. If you prepare well, you don't get cold yourself. Uh, for me, one of the issues most of the time is my fingers. You might remember yourself uh, photographing in winter time. Your fingers get numb so, so fast. So gloves are really important. And today I'm wearing uh, these Valorette tinden gloves. Uh, these are specifically made for photographers and I love that because you might have noticed when you are photographing with gloves that you can't feel the buttons and one of the advantages of these Valorette gloves I think is you can get your thumb and index finger free super quickly like this and you can operate the buttons on your camera. Uh, if you're done you can just flip them back and you can go on 
getting toasty fingers again. So uh, furthermore, you can see there's a really kind of grippy substance here, which makes it really secure to hold your camera. Uh, the inside of the gloves are lined with merino wool, and I love merino wool. All my underlayers are from merino wool. It's soft to the skin, it's warm, but also breathable. Uh, and now also inside of the gloves, so I'm really happy about it. So if you're thinking about, uh, yeah, uh, maybe buying some photography gloves, give Valoret a thought. I think they're really good. There's also a link in the description. Disclaimer here, I have received these gloves from Valoret after asking them uh, uh, if I could uh, replace my eight-year-old uh, Valoret gloves, which I have used and abused. Everything. Mm -hmm. These dead trees are just awesome. It's great. Ah, getting right, why are you biting my, uh, my, my, my gloves <laughs> over my fingers because they're freezing, man. It's really cold. It's very, very cold indeed. And I needed a replacement. Uh, and they gladly did that. And I, yeah, uh, for exchange, that I talk about it in the video. So that's a disclaimer. Um, all right, back uh, to the video, back to the winter astrophotography. <laughs> we are here with Martijn, of course. We haven't seen Martijn a lot lately, but uh, it's winter. <laughs> So we're shooting again. Do you have a favorite thing of winter astrophotography? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, well, winter is for me Orion, so I yeah. think that's one of my favorites. Definitely. I really like the, totally uh, the H alpha details. Yeah. Uh, and I really like that uh, that we can go out at uh, six o'clock in the evening <laughs> and lay in bed at uh, 12. So that makes it uh, <laughs> kind of uh, <laughs> better for us. Extremely <laughs> relaxing, extremely relaxing. No, and I, uh, yeah. I like it, so... Uh, Long nights, early nights. Long nights, early nights, indeed. Love it, love it. <laughs> Yep, long-time viewers of the channel probably seen this place before. It's uh, the hut between the dunes right at the North Sea here in the Netherlands. Uh, I've come here before, uh, I think four, five, maybe even six times in the past few years, but I love this spot. I mean, the most interesting parts of the Milky Way uh, in wintertime are uh, over in the west, so we, we are shooting into the dark North Sea, excellent location, and it's also very windy tonight, and this is uh, sheltered, uh, this place, from, um, yeah, from the wind that's coming from the North Sea. We are between the dunes, so that's pretty good. Composition-wise, you can see my camera here. Um, I've shot uh, yeah, something similar I've shot before, I think also, but I really want to emphasize the leading lines here of the poles, of the fences, a little bit of the reeds, uh, which won't be sharp because it's windy, but it doesn't really matter, and then leading into the hut, and the hut leading into the beautiful Cygnus region of the Milky Way. Uh, yeah, settings-wise, I've shot at ISO 6400 because you can see I've shoved my uh, uh, tripod up very high, so it's not stable at all. Quite short exposure time, one minute uh, f4 to get a little bit of sharpness also in the foreground, and uh, that looks okay-ish. A little bit noisy, but I think the noise reduction software these days is so good, it will take care of it. Yeah, let's uh, double check that exposure, maybe make some variance and. Uh, See what we do. Pretty good so far. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so I think we are now finished with our winter night of astrophotography, the first night of winter astrophotography Ooh, this year. Yeah, it's been long, right? And I think officially it isn't even <laughs> winter, by the way, but no. you know, I think it's December 13th or something? Uh, 10th. 10th, December 10th, but winter photography anyway, winter is coming. <laughs> How was your night? Yeah, it was great. It was kind of windy, but I didn't have any, well, problems with it. So uh, I did two yeah? stacks. Your stars but look sharp? Yeah, quite sharp. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, and using the Star uh, Adventure still on the yeah. sturdy tripod. Yeah, that helps. So 
uh, nice. uh, I'm not sure which tech I'm going to use, but yeah. I have some, uh, some various foreground. So, uh, I saw you running around through the dunes <laughs> trying various things. Yeah, I so. tried a selfie, but it, that didn't work out as expected, ah, so I didn't I do see. it. So, uh, okay. okay. It's fun like this. Yeah, I specifically liked the one where Martijn was down there. I made a video shot of it uh, for some B-roll, uh, where you stand under uh, that um, bridge thing and you look up and it looks massive. Sickness behind it, excellent stuff. Yeah, for me it was also a good night, I think. Uh, I've mainly uh, shot uh, yeah, one uh, composition <laughs> with the leading line leading into the hut. I'm not going to steal Martijn's uh, more epic <laughs> foreground, which I'm a bit jealous of, but maybe I'll do that next month. <laughs> Furthermore, yeah, I, <laughs> I think my uh, tracked results look pretty good also. I'm using the Nomad Star Tracker and uh, building it up on a uh, V mount and some stuff above it. It's a little bit less stable than the Star Adventure, but I think it looks decent enough. So, yeah, super good to be out again here. Also, to see you again. I see Sirius for the first time. You see Sirius rising, that means the full winter circle yeah. is also in the night sky right now. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it too. If our shots turn out to be any good, here are our shots. And for now, I thank you again for watching. See you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>